I'm Hebrew Brantley. Right now we're in Penny Candy, pop-up shop for Hebrew Brand at 902 South Wabash. I actually grew up in the area, so this was, for me as a kid, this was a video store. This was the biggest video store in the neighborhood, so it was awesome for me, it was a treasure chest. But I figured with the visibility uh, of the space, with you know having all these windows and then the location and the timing, I thought it would be perfect to do a pop-up around the time of Lollapalooza. Music definitely plays a big role in what I do. I, I, I was fortunate enough to do the um, 20th anniversary uh, commemorative poster for Lollapalooza two years ago. I think the energy around this city, around this time, you know, it's, it's, it's very vibrant. So I just figured, you know, a good way to sort of introduce myself to another audience uh, would be to do, you know, a pop-up shop. We have certain uh, acts or you know people coming through scheduled throughout the weekend. Chance the Rapper, who's um, you know is blowing up. He's a huge name in Chicago. Uh, his crew, which is Save Money, we have Caleb James coming through on Saturday, and then you know video games in the back for the big kids and even the little ones, and then lots of candy for the big kids and the little ones too. So you know, top all that in with merchandising. I think um, you know I think it'll be a great turnout. I tell people all of the time, you know, if you can afford uh, a pair of Jordans, sneakers, or Nikes for that matter, you can afford a painting. The evolution of the work, I think, just comes strictly off of, you know, almost like a muscle memory. You know, working so much, so, so, so ferociously, you know, and so fast doing different projects, I think that, you know, after a time it becomes something that, you know, I don't really have to think about and it's, it's more fluid, it's faster, I can turn, you know, things over quicker. But I'm constantly working on at least four to five pieces at a time. I'm a little art schizophrenic, <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I it, it's, it's sort of the only way that I, I can process and I can work is to be able to have my hands on different things at a different time because I become a bit impatient and you know, like that whole old adage of waiting for paint to dry. I don't like to do that too much. So, you know, I like to keep it going, keep it moving. Out of every five paintings, I might like one, you know, so, and then those are the ones you guys will see. <laughs> the other four, you know, they're, it might be revealed later on, you know, when I have a retrospective, you know, many, many years down the line. But, you know, for now, I, I try to keep the quality um, consistent, you know, throughout. The ultimate goal for me is, is mastery, to be considered a master of my craft.